Hi, my name is Feline Entity, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these impossible space trading cards right here in Blender. All right, we're in a new file. Let's set up our scene. Let's select the camera, open our side panel right here, set the X to zero and the Z as well. The X rotation to 90 and the Z rotation to zero. So we have a front camera like from, from here. It shows directly from the front. Select the cube, delete it. Now we're gonna make the cart. Add in a plane. Go into edit mode. Rotate it on the X by 90, and then scale it up on the Z so we get our cart shape. Oh, uh, something like this. Then we got gonna add a loop cut. Come on, there we go. Right through the middle, bring it down a little bit. And we go to face select, select everything, press I for inset, bring it in a little bit. Press I again, bring it in again. But this time we click on inset faces down here and then on individual. Then we select these two loops and go over to the material tab. Add any material, make it light blue or whatever you want really. And add another one, but this time it's a dark blue. A little more saturated. And I click on assign, so it gets assigned to our two loops here. And we're gonna go over to the modifier tab, add a solidify modifier. Make it a little bit thicker and set the material index to one as well for the rim. So now the back side is nice and blue. And apply. So that's our cart. Let's add a background plane for the cart. That's important for later. So mesh plane. Uh, bring it back a little bit. Rotate it on the X by 90 and then scale it up. Fine. Uh, we go into shading, select our background plane, uh, and give it a new background. Can remove this node, and let's add in from input a texture coordinate under vector a mapping node, and connect these from generated to vector. Then we're gonna add under texture. Uh, there should be a gradient texture. There we go. Let's add these two together. Switch this to uh, spherical. And last but not least, let's add under converter a color ramp like this. Select these two and the color here to surface. Yeah, something like this. Let's edit the location a little bit. Should be minus 0.5 as well as the Y should be minus 0.5. I can play with the Z to make it stronger or weaker. Let's actually keep it at zero. And select this and bring it in a bit. So I have something like that. I should press zero, you can see it from the front. And that looks pretty good. I like that. And this can actually be, let's see what would look good. Give it like a, like a pink tint. That should be fine. All right. So with that out of the way, we select, we go back to the layout over here, select our card, go back into edit mode, select this front face. This will be our mask. Press P and click on selection. Go out of uh, edit mode and select the front face you just had here. And then hold shift, click on your cart and press control P. Click on object. And now uh, our mask here is parented to the object, uh, is parented to the cart. So when you move the cart, the mask moves with it. All right. So next we need something in the background. 
for that we're gonna uh, add a little model of mine you can use whatever you want I'm gonna add a little cake move it behind the card a little bit up do I want to actually see uh, what's behind the card select your mask and press H to hide it and then select your card Go into material, select your second material, scroll down a bit, and under settings, you can find backface calling. Just click that, and you can see right through it. All right, let's select our cake from the front. We bring it up a bit. All right, that should be fine. Let's give the cake a background as well. So we bring in a UV sphere. Uh, rotate the sphere on the X by 90. Let's go into edit mode as well. Into wireframe and vertex select. Look at it from the side. We're pressing 3 on the numpad. And select all the font vertices with box select. X. Delete those vertices. Come out of edit mode. Oop. Back into depth look. Show you out of edit mode before you scale it up. So it actually scales around the origin. Something like this. Right click our sphere, shade it smooth. Go back into the shading tab. Uh, make sure your sphere is selected. Create a new, uh, a new material. Delete the principled BDSF. Let's bring in another texture component from the input tab as well as a Voronoi texture connect the generator to the vector and add in from the converter tab another color ramp make the color to the factor of this and here from the color ramp the color to the surface have something like this Switch it over in the Voronoi texture node to from intensity to cells. And then you can play a little bit with the color. Make this like uh maybe a little bit blue, but much darker. Uh, maybe I like desaturate it a bit. Something like this. Yeah, I think this should work. You can play with the scale if you don't like it. Uh, I think something around this should be good. Yeah, that's nice. All right. So, uh, let's bring our outline a little bit up here. Select your cake and or whatever you have, <laughs> and your background, and last but not least, your card. Always shift. Make sure your card is the last selected, and then press Control P again. The object. So now when we move our card, everything moves with it. Very good. All right. Let's only select our card. Now we're gonna set up the collections. Press M. We got new collection and call this card. Uh, okay. So now your card plane is right here. Uh, select your object and your background. Actually, let's go back to the layout before we do this. So your object in your background, press M again, new collection, I call mine cake. You can call it whatever you would like. Uh, let me fix this real quick. All right. Now this disappears when you deactivate the collection. Very good. Press Alt H, bring back our mask. Select our mask, press M, new collection, call this mask. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, let's make sure everything is fine. Use our mask. Go back on. All right. Uh, actually, I need to move the background to the card as well. That's very important. Good. Now, if we deactivate everything. Uh, you should have nothing but your lamp and your camera. Let's bring back the card and select the lamp. We bring it a little bit closer to the card. 
duplicate it, close as well. Now if we go into render mode, it is actually split a little bit. All right. So next, we should have something like this. And we're going to set up the render layers now. Uh, deactivate all the collections except the collection where your camera and your lights are in, as well as the card one. So we deactivate the cake layer and the mask layer, so we only have this left. We click up here on the view layer and call this card layer. Enter. So this is our first view layer. And click on the little icon next to it to create a new one that should bring back all your collections. Now we deactivate the card collection and the mask. We only have our cake. And call this one the cake layer. I think I called this one more. There we go. Enter. Create a new layer. And the last one will be only the mask, nothing else. And this will be the mask layer. Very good. Now you can basically switch through your layers. Should have something like that. Now, we go over here to our first tab, our scene tab. Go under film and click on transparent. That's very important. Otherwise, this will not work. And then we press F12 to render this. So this will render every single render layer. So you can click up here on the layer and then look at every single layer you have. Uh, the camera is a little bit close, so let's actually go uh, and press 0 on the numpad. Uh, go to our card layer, select our camera and bring it back a bit. Something like this. Now if we render it again. It have something like this. Oop. There we go. Now, what do we do with this? We actually go into the compositing tab, click on use notes, and that bring should bring you these two notes. One is render layers and one is composite. Bring this to the side a little bit. Uh, press Shift A. Go on output and get our viewer. Now we can just put in this image over here and then we have our card in the background. I think if you press on the view, you can bring the zoom back a little bit. It's a little bit too big for you. Fine, all right, cool. So, get started. Uh, select your render layer and shift D it to duplicate it. So you have three of those. Make sure every single one has a different layer. So this has the card layer, this will have the cake layer. And this will have the mask layer. All right. Bring this a little bit to the side. All right, so is that a node? Under color, you will find a mix node. Now we're gonna mix the image of this card, bring it in here, and the image of this cake. Now, if we just plug this into the viewer node, you get, well, you don't see much the factor actually controls what you see. But we can also control it with our mask down here. Click the alpha output and plug it right into the factor and you have something like this. Magic! It's already working. Let's put this into the actual composite. Now if I press F12 and if I can actually see it, Blender is not very cooperative. And click on composite down here. You actually get your layered uh, output. Now, if we uh, take our cart and rotate it on the Z a little bit, just a little bit, well, something like this, and press F12 again, we see it a little bit from the side. Now, all we have to do is uh, animate it. Let's bring this back, click on your card, uh, set it to zero. Go into the animation window. Uh, I like to work on dev look here. Over a little bit so you can actually see what we're doing. Select the uh, zero frame 
important. And go over here with your card selected and go on the rotation and click on the Z rotation, right click and insert single keyframe. Then let's set this down here on the end to 180. That's pretty good. Bring it over all the way here to the 180. And then click on the Z, put in the 360, right click again, insert single keyframe. So now we have a little bit of an animation going on. You just want a constant rotation, which I usually prefer. Make sure all your keys are selected. You click on key, interpolation mode, and then linear. Now if you play this, it just rotates all the time. Very good. And now let's render it. Now before we actually render it, I forgot something very important. Let's go to the mask layer. Uh, select your mask over here. Go over to your material. Uh, select the first material and just set it to backface calling. Otherwise, the backside will also mask it and we don't want that. All right, let's render. And there you have it, a nice impossible space trading card. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I would love to see your own trading cards, so make sure to add me on Freeline Entity on Twitter. You obviously can do a lot with these cards, with whatever you put in the background, so I'll look forward to what you make. Bye-bye.